Hey guys, how you doing? I was hoping my air will shut off pretty soon. That thing has been running and running. About 116 degrees today here in Arizona. Hot. <laughs> anyway, I've been messing around with uh, the... Well, I was... My air compressor thing, you know, one of those nebulizer ones, and it actually works. <laughs> but I need to practice because I'm not used to them. I've never used them before. I've only used straws. And uh, I was thinking, I was watching YouTube today and um, thinking, why have I been using a straw? All this time I could have been using those. But yeah, I need to learn how to use it, you know, maneuver it and how, how to direct it right. So I practiced a lot here. <laughs> Let's just say they weren't really great. They kind of mudded up, kept going over it. So, but I'll learn. Sort of like a Dutch pour, I suppose. You can't too blow it too much. Anyway, yeah, I was sitting there and I was watching a, a young girl that I've been watching lately. I assume she's young. She seems to be. Her name is Kitty303. And um, I've been kind of just blown away by her art lately. I've noticed that she's just seems to be on this complete awesome painting journey where she's growing each and every day where there's something new and something even more better and fabulous each day and I mean that um, she's very very creative and she's really good at what she's doing so um, I can see her growing really far and I just want to um, give her a little recognition because she deserves it her name is kitty 303 her link is in my description. Go ahead and take a look. Um, she's actually very soothing to listen to also. She has this very calm, very collective voice. Real soothing, soft, cute little voice that I really enjoy. And it relaxes me so. But yeah, no, more so her artwork is just, yeah, it's great. So check her out, guys. So I figured out, since I kind of poured over this canvas three or four times, I'll go ahead and use it as a balloon smash now. Since I've practiced enough time, so I'm going to start with um, phthalo, how do you say that, phthalo cyanine blue. And oh, I put a coat of Artist Loft White Flow On. So just to kind of give you an idea how deep it is, is that's it. It's not real deep. It's not super thick because I'm going to be putting more paint on. Now if I didn't start with base, then yeah, you know, but just kind of want to take it easy, not too much. Thin. I hope, you know, I, I can do these without a base and without one but the trick with the balloon smashes is knowing exactly when to stop smashing because you're going to hit their canvas and how thick to have it on your canvas so if you watch carefully you kind of might get an idea these are thin little strips they're not thick thick so then I'm going to use my topaz Violet shimmer that I have left over. It's always ends that <clears throat> seem to be more thinner in the ending. <clears throat> I'm gonna use some of this, that Aquamore Pearl Blue. Okay. Never done magenta. Oh no, deep magenta artist lock. Oops, that was a big one. I don't want that big one there. I'll get that off. 
usually nice to use bottles or pipettes guys if you don't know what a pipette is go on Amazon you can find them real easy on there Yeah, I think that's the bottles. If I do it this, I get more on the table everywhere than I do the candles. Because I don't get it right. <clears throat> so yeah, if you've got it, go get some little bottles. <clears throat> Someone asked me the other day where I got my little bottles, and I accidentally told her Walmart, and then because I couldn't remember. And I was at Walmart looking the other day. I'm like, where are they at? So I must not have got them at Walmart. I think I got them at uh, Hobby Lobby. Okay. I'm happy with that. <laughs> that takes time, so I'll probably fast forward that. So I'm just a little balloon this time. I'm put that like that and start going I'm not gonna really go like right in the middle I don't like one right in the middle that's good okay so now I'm just gonna kind of keep going around kind of overlap in some areas okay and I'm gonna fast forward it also Okay, so that was good thickness. I like it. So then I'm just going to kind of take my glove and because these are thicker little, I just kind of keep, not too many times, you'll know when to stop. So what I did was just kind of get that a little pull up in the middle there. Yeah, it's just a matter of getting the right amount of paint. I have failed many, many times doing these. And if I'm not exactly in the middle of one, that's okay too. You don't have to be right in the middle of one. I'm just getting up where there it looks puddly. Giving it a good swirl or a good pull up. So, just where there's thickness, it's pretty easy if you can get the paint right. Yeah, I don't have to be right in the center of a flower. Just get wherever. I 
have to do it two, three, two or three times in those thick spots, okay? So I'll fast forward while I keep doing this a little bit. Okay, so if there's something that you don't like, if there's just too much in there, then you can just you know, give it a little pull and give it a design here and there, wherever. If too much purple, pull it in a little, okay? So we don't want to take too long here. I'll fix that one. It does settle a little bit more, so I'll give it about three minutes, and then I'll do it again. There we go. I got to use my canvas up. And it's a pretty one, too. I like it. Alrighty. Well, that's it. I think I'm liking it. Don't see. What is it right here? Yeah, there was a little bare spot. There we go. I'm digging it. I am happy with this one. Good. Now, if I would just now, if I took my balloon right now and said, "Oh, I don't like this spot or something," too, it's going to be too naked. You're going to hit canvas because it's going to be unlevel. You know what I mean? You already did it once. Now, don't do it again. If anything, use your finger. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's just a good old... Yeah. This. If you got a bare spot, tap it up with your finger. Once it dries, it'll all blend together real pretty. All right, well, don't forget to uh, check out Kitty. Please, I appreciate that. And uh, you guys have a real good one a week. Okay, we're heading into the middle of the week. Cool. Tomorrow is Wednesday, right? Yeah, school's starting for a lot of kids. Let's all remember them in prayer. Um, you know, I appreciate that also. And um, just, you know, stay positive, guys. And, oh, yeah, tomorrow we have our drawing, too, for appreciation. And uh, I'm thirsty. I'm going to go get a big glass of water. All right, guys, take it easy.